decided to take the, a break in a tree, in the shade of a tree we don't actually see too many of here on Juma. It is an acacia, oh wow, I refuse to use the new name, so you're welcome to correct me, in my mind it is still an acacia, nilotica, a scented thorn. It's actually one of my favorites. The pods smell absolutely delicious. Uru would like to know, is she related to the young Talamantes that are with the Ngormas now? Most certainly, they come from the same pride. Uh, how close a relation? They might even be the mom. You never know. And say, I haven't spent enough time with these other prides to know for sure. Oh, she's tired, Kitty, now. I mean, she's walked a fair distance today. Well, just while we've been with her, she's walked quite a distance. Ah, there we go. This, thank you very much, Michael. Apparently this Talamati lioness is one of the originals that broke away from the Inca in 2013. So, she's old. She's probably yeah, over 10, but she looks in really good condition, apart from her, her, her blind eye. But other than that, I mean, she looks in magnificent condition. Rima is wondering what could have caused blindness in her eye. Um, old age is one of them, but the fact that it's one eye so, so obviously more affected than the other, it could have been a spitting cobra, um, could have been lots of different things, but I think most likely it's, it could have been, very easily been a spitting cobra. Lions are not the biggest fans of spitting cobras. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, she's very tired now. I wonder where the rest of the Talamanti Pride are, because they are normally a lot further to the north from where we are at the moment. Janet is wondering, is she in danger being alone? No, Janet. I mean, there's always danger, but there's danger with, with the pride or not with the pride. Um, but as a general rule, I would say no, she's not in any extra danger. Of course, if she were to come across the Inkohuma pride, well, the Inkohuma pride is a bit of a, a funny one. They might, she might be fine. But if she was to come across maybe the Torchwood pride or an unrelated pride by herself, she might be in a bit of trouble, but she would probably skedaddle at high speed and if she's been mating with the evokers they're obviously not posing a threat to her presently I wonder where she came from and what she was doing down in the far east towards Ngoro. We can just 
ponder. I don't think we'll ever know for sure. I haven't heard of the rest of the Talamites being... Well, actually, I lie. I'm going to ask Aubrey. Aubrey's got some lines up in the north. Let me ask him quickly. And see what Orbs has to say. Aubrey, Aubrey. Orbs, those Ngala you have um, up in the north, are those Talamites? Okay, copy. Thanks very much. Uh, we've got another one here on Tortured, the one with the blind eye. So yes, apparently it is the Talamati Pride up to the north. So the rest of the Pride seem to be quite quite far from here, actually, in that direction. Um, probably about over over 10 kilometres from where we are at the moment. So maybe she is slowly moving away towards the rest of the pride but been walking for so long it's got hot so she's decided to take a nap okay well we didn't start off well with cats but now we have and of course Sydney started off right at the beginning of drive with Hosanna and Tingana